Welcome to this sheet metal SolidWorks tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be making this part and we will be learning how to make a gazette. So we will be making three different gazettes, how to make the stretch bands, how to make the base flange and how to mirror a sheet metal feature in SolidWorks. So let's start. First, open a part file by clicking the part and click OK. So let me tell you how to enable the uh, sheet metal tab. So right click here and in this tabs, you can find this sheet metal so this sheet metal will be enabled now uh, click on top lane click on the sketch option select this line and we are going to make a sketch like this make sure to make this line align with this one and this line is going is not going to be horizontal but we will make it horizontal so click this click on this line and make relation horizontal and as you can see this line is horizontal now now uh, select a circle and make a circle at this origin now we are going to specify the length of this line so select smart dimensioning tool and specify the length of this line as 40 then click enter now here let me tell you one thing we need to specify the length of mostly of these lines as 40 millimeter so rather than selecting these and specifying 40 millimeter lens we will press the control button and select one by one all of these lines and we what we will do we will make relation equal make relation equal so here is an error uh, there should be only one dimension of 40 so select this 40 dimension and delete this one so now this is perfectly fine so rather than specifying all of 40 dimension we will make relation equal now select these two lines and make relation collinear because these two lines should be in the same line now select smart dimensioning tool and specify the diameter of this circle as 20 millimeter right from center to this line the distance is 20 20 enter uh, and from this line to center of the circle the distance is also 20 so 20 enter right okay now we are left uh, the sketch is fully defined but we have to make some fillets so select this fillet tool now here I want to tell you one more thing again so select this uh, corner click on yes so rather than clicking uh, on these two i will select this area yes yes so uh, that's how we can save our time similarly select this area select this area click on yes and these two corners have been filleted so 10 mm radius is fine and now here we are going to make six circles but i will make three circles one two and three we will simply mirror these circles here so we will save our time specify the diameter of this circle as 10 and now press the control button and select these three circles one two and three make sure to press the control button and specify this equal relation now the benefit is we have saved our time of specifying the diameters of each circle so now I will mirror uh, these three circle on the other side for that I need this uh, center line it doesn't matter the length of this line it can be shorter or longer doesn't matter the only thing matter this vertical relation this line should be straight right now select this mirror entities in this window nothing else can be selected if anything like this is selected just press and delete it in this window only these three circles should be selected that you want to mirror one two and three right and in this window mirror about window we only need to select this vertical line and all of these three circles will be mirrored so that's how we can save our time so now go to sheet metal and this is the base flange command we will select this base flange command and here uh, we will just uh, specify the thickness uh, now apply some appearance to have a better look 
in solids i will specify this blue color you can specify any color this is an optional thing now uh, we will uh, select this face and click on sketch we will bend this three times so sketch we will make a straight line from this point to this point make sure this is a vertical straight line and now specify the dimensions it should be 4 millimeter from here and now what we will do we will go to sheet metal and select this stretched bend command so here you need to learn one thing we have a line and we have partition we can either select this face or the other face if we select one face like this the other face will be turned like this it will bend like this but in our case we don't want this we want the other face to get bended like this so we will select the other face like this now we have a few options here we have material conditions and this angle we can specify the angle here 45 degree right and we can specify this radius as well so uncheck this one this use default and we can specify the radius here so i think the radius 4 or 5 will be fine let's specify 5 press enter and this radius of 5 millimeter is now applied so now check this box and uh, now it's time to make another band so select this face click on sketch make a straight line and then specify the dimension from this line to this line the distance should be 4 millimeter and here we will do the same activity uh, we will go to the sheet uh, sheet metal stretched band and here we if we select this uh, side we don't need, need this one so uh, clear this window and we will turn it like this so select this face now we need to specify the degree here so 45 degree angle is fine there is this is the material condition you can uh, specify these material condition material in offset and material out and we can specify the radius here as well uncheck this box and 5 degree radius is applied here now check this box now we are left with only one stretched band but this time it will be different uh, let me just apply some appearance here so it has some better appearance this white color appearance is fine now we will apply a different stretched band this time so select this face click on sketch make a straight line this procedure is uh, the same but the angle will be different so this distance is 4 millimeter now what we will do we will go to sheet metal stretched band and we will uh, select this side but uh, this time the angle will be 90 we will change this direction by clicking here and here we can specify the radius so radius of 4 is fine just check this box and now we are only left with sheet metal gazette so let's uh, learn how to use the sheet metal gazette so in sheet metal we have this sheet metal gazette select this and now what we need to do we need to select two faces here in this window one face and this is the second face so sheet metal gazette is appeared we only need to specify the parameters from here we can uh, adjust the location by this offset window so this is at the middle now we have to specify here the depth so this much depth is i think fine or three is fine so uh, this is the thickness and the other parameters thickness and the width we can specify it from here and this is our sheet metal gazette let me show you from the back this right here is the sheet metal gazette and if you want to change it then right click and edit features and from here we can uh, change these uh, parameters I think thickness cannot be changed so the 2 mm thickness is fine we can change the width 
and now it looks good so now it's time to make another uh, sheet metal gusset and after that we will mirror that sheet metal gusset so select these two uh, faces here although we can change uh, this but this looks fine because it is at the middle and here is our sheet metal gusset and now it's time to mirror uh, this sheet metal gusset as a beginner sometimes we don't know how to make the plane for the mirror although this plane is fine for the mirror but now let's make a plane here so in reference geometry select here plane what will what we will do we will select this side and this side so this plane is at the middle is created so now this plane can be used to mirror this sheet metal gusset we will select the mirror although this uh, plane is selected but let me select it for you so this is the plane that we have created and we want to mirror the feature so we will click on the feature window and here we have the mirrored sheet metal gusset so in this tutorial i have tried to explain you guys uh, the three four very important tools that we used in sheet metal if you want to learn more about sheet metal uh, i will provide the playlist that i have created on sheet metal in the description so you can check that link if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching